DuckTales, woo! Today on the show, I'm gonna show you how to make Scrooge's money bin into a gingerbread house with a surprise inside. Let me show you how it's done. To make the money bin, you will need a cake board, sugar, cardamom, salt, eggs, flour, royal icing, vanilla paste or extract, unsalted butter, and orange zest. You'll also need some yellow fondant, a bit of cake, and some buttercream icing. And be sure to print out a set of templates, which you can find on the website, fantasyfoodshow.com, along with all of the ingredients and quantities. First, you'll need to make the cookies. Now, of course, you could use a gingerbread recipe, but I've done that for the past two years, so I thought I'd share this delicious orange spice cookie with you. So add the cardamom and the salt to the flour and combine. Cream together the softened butter and the sugar, then add the orange zest, vanilla paste, and mix to combine. Then add the two eggs and the one egg yolk, and make sure to scrape down the sides of the bowl as needed. Then slowly add the flour mixture. Once that's incorporated, turn the dough out onto your work surface and use your hands to bring it together. Cut the dough into two equal portions, wrap them in cling film, and flatten into round discs. Then pop them into the fridge for about 30 to 40 minutes. Once the dough is chilled, it will be much easier to work with. Lay down a piece of parchment paper and roll the dough out to about a quarter inch thickness. I find it easiest to use two books or magazines of equal height to make sure that the dough is even. And if you don't want to get your books greasy, I suggest covering them in cling film or wax paper. Then take your templates and cut out the shapes with a sharp knife. Remove the excess dough and slide the parchment onto a baking tray. Bake in a preheated 375 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 12 minutes or until the edges just begin to turn light brown. While that's baking, we need to make the top of the money bin. Thinly roll out some yellow fondant and set that aside. I used some leftover gingerbread cake I had and mixed it with a little buttercream frosting to make cake pop dough. Then I lined a small bowl with cling film and pressed the mixture into the bowl. I let it firm up in the fridge for about an hour and then I was able to turn it out. Once that's done, you can lay the yellow fondant over the top, and you shouldn't need to add more buttercream since the mixture is already quite sticky. Trim off the excess with a paring knife, and then use the back of the knife to press lines into the fondant to create the dome. Once the cookies are baked, take them out of the oven, and they will probably have spread out a bit. So lay the template on the top again, and use a sharp knife to cut off any excess. To make the signature dollar sign, lay a piece of tissue paper on top of that template and trace over the symbol with a food safe marker. Then lay the tissue on the cookie and trace over again. Then go over that with royal icing. I colored some black and some golden yellow. Thinned those out with a little water until they were a pipeable consistency and then put them into small Ziploc bags, cutting off a little tip on one of the corners to make piping bags. To assemble the roof, put a little royal icing on one of the square pieces and lay the dome on top. Then make a little flag with a toothpick and a red spice drop and add that into the middle. Pipe some royal icing onto the back of the dollar sign and add that towards the top center of the front piece. When you're ready to assemble the bin, put some more royal icing into the middle of the cake board and add the other square piece for the bottom. Then it's as simple as piping icing onto the front, back, and side pieces and sticking them together. I like to use spice containers just to hold them up as they're drying. The front piece does lean a bit forward, as it does in the DuckTales reboot, so you'll definitely want some support there. I recommend letting the house dry for at least a few hours or overnight before you decorate. Then cover the whole cake board in more royal icing, grab some friends, and add candy to your heart's content. And of course, Scrooge's money bin wouldn't be complete without gold. So add lots of chocolate coins inside, and don't forget his number one dime. Put the top on, and you're done. And there it is, my DuckTales Christmas money bin. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison of a toy money bin I found online, which was my inspiration for this episode. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this recipe, please check it out on our website, fantasyfoodshow.com. And remember, you can support the show on patreon.com, and there'll be a link to that in the description box below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.